Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. In this video, I will show you how to install a exhaust fan in the bathroom. Nice piece I pick up at Home Depot. By the end of this video, you guys be able to have a nice ventilation on your bathroom. Let's work, my friend. Yeah, I just got this out of the box. This is the exhaust fan. We have those brackets on the side. Uh, let me grab my hand and put this guy in. Uh, should be nice and easy. Oh! bracket is a little bit too long between the joists. I will have to cut it. Okay, let me bring it down, cut it. Just gonna use this uh, old tin snipper. So I'm just gonna cut a piece in there. Well, this should do it. If you don't have a tin snipper, you can use a rock saw. Let's put it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna use uh, this free joist in here. This is space. Yeah, this space I think is the best one to go. It just fit good. I'm gonna leave half inch to allow for the drywall. Half inch below the ceiling for the drywall. I'm just gonna bring the brackets in. Okay, not uh, very good this way. Bang this in with a hammer, but this metal is soft, so it did not go in the wood, so I can use something different, I can use some screws. First, this is one thing that you guys could do. If you're gonna use a half inch drywall to get the, the right measurement, you just can put half inch right there, you can just pop a few screws in. If you're gonna use like 5 8 or so double layer, you just have to get a half rest from there. When you're doing the fan, you have to set it up to be flat with the finishing drywall. So we have a finish, finish you're gonna use. I'm gonna put to just one eight to higher than the drywall. And I'm gonna use self-drill screws to go through the metal. Instead to bang with the hammer, I'm just gonna put a few screws on the bracket. I didn't really like the setup very much to put the, the clamps in here. Now we have it on place, I'm just gonna make a pilot hole that we have a half reference where we're gonna make the four inch holes on the other side. Just gonna make it from inside. The fan is on place, we're just gonna put uh, the exhaust pipe. I'm just gonna run it in here inside and I'm gonna go out this side the exterior wall so this is gonna go straight out yes I have my pilot hole now I'm gonna go this side and make the four inch hole yes we all decide here with all this vine this is the pilot hole that we drill from the inside now I'm just gonna check how this fan gonna fit in here first I'm gonna use this one to mark the hole this is the pilot to be drilled from inside. Let's see if we can mark this. There we go, looking good. Let me recheck with this one. I don't have a hole saw on hand. I'm gonna use this guy to just to go around and cut. This fits on the hole good outside, so I'm just gonna adapt this aluminum piece, the duct piece on it. Try to fit it in there, but it's just... Just doesn't fit. So we have this plier in here. How we do, something like that. Now, what we're doing here, we just put some tape. You guys can see, silver tape, they're very good. Wrap all the way around. Let's 
silver duct tape. Good piece to have. Hello, we're here. Hole is done, it fits good. I'm just gonna seal it. Gonna put some 100% silicone. Good stuff, clear. I would put some in there. Usually you don't need to do all that, but I do just in case. We don't want the air just coming out on those little hole and humidity go inside the walls. The bottom is very important not to put anything. The bottom side you just leave open in case uh, some moisture come in it. Because I don't have the space, I'm just gonna make sure I got this right. I'm just gonna put this one before I put it up. I'm just gonna put some silicone in there. Make sure the water doesn't think goes in behind it. Fit great. This is a rust resistant screws. Okay, we use uh, this screws, this is deck screws, it doesn't get rust, so it's a good good screws to use. Okay, now we have the screw on, I have already the silicone on top, I'm just gonna put on this side. The bottom side, we don't put the silicone because it's for in case uh, some moisture we get in, just drip to the bottom. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, we have a four inch flex pipe that we're gonna use in here. Make the life easier. Make sure it is not gonna start any sharp stuff. Yes, he will just connect this one to the piece of the side. Turn some tape and we'll be good to go. Okay, we're just gonna put the silver. This tape, like I say, is uh, good and strong. Just go around with it, pull this part out. In this case here, the white pipe went out the side on the silver pipe. And just to let you know, we're not doing it right now, but uh, because we're gonna do the isolation, this would, would fill in with spray foam isolation. Okay guys, so now we just gotta cut this one off. This pipe off is just, just plastic, PVC, with a wire in there. So I'm gonna use the snipper to cut it off. Just put it back there, grab a piece of tape. I'm not gonna have the whole roll in there because it'd be get a tongue up. And the good thing about this tape, you can just wrap it around like that. Just to show you guys. And then you can go and tight the space with it. Once you have it there, you just pull this side. There you go. You guys can see here it's very tight to the joist, but we still can make it. Nice and tight. If you guys want to see it again, just do like that. Make sure it's a little bit loose. Go tight back there, and then you just pull this part out. There you go. Nice piece to work with. I'm just gonna put a little bit extra in here to eliminate any escape of air. I just don't want the moisture to, to escape inside the ceiling. So. I know sometimes you say does it looks pretty, but it it does the job. Let me see what they have in here. So 
we have this wire coming here for the fin. This one is come, this this one is the one we put in to bring power. This one is the fan, I'm just gonna connect them together just to let you know, power is off for now. Don't do this if you have the power on. Nice piece, can't complain. I'm just gonna put one of this piece to protect the wire. Make sure the wire is gonna be on a good spot. green wire from the fan to the ground who come on uh, the wire that we just installed everything should be good in work order okay right now guys we just connecting the switch for the fan and we're gonna check to see if it's gonna work. We're just gonna connect ground to ground. We push it back in. We're gonna connect neutral to neutral. Okay, okay guys. Let's turn this fan on. Let's see how it works. There we go. Fan is on. Running good. And this else is one thing. It's very quiet. It's very quiet. I can say for the many fan that I install, this is a quiet one. And uh, okay, let's step out the side, let's check to see how it is working out there. Hello guys, okay, vent is working good and nice. So, uh, like I say, we can fill in a bag of air. Working good. We make update video on the progress of this renovation and we will link them on this video. All the tools that we use in this video we will link on the description. Silver tape, nice one to have, work very good. Strong glue, just to put around the pipes and around all the connections for the vent. We use some of this 4 inches pipe. Just cut a piece to connect to the vent cup. This is a 4 inches flex pipe for the exhaust fan. Used to work with. We have a, a vent cup for the exterior. We got a measure tape all the time we need them. Pencil. A thin snipper. Thin snippers work very good. We use this drill, nice nice piece, working very good. So we use it to make a pilot hole. We use this drill, a drill out, 18 volts drill. We just use a modified battery. We use some silicone to seal on the exterior. We use this one to cut the hole because I just don't have a four inch hole saw. Yeah, a sawzall. This works very good, good tools to have. Help you out. If you have any comment, post it in there. And uh, if you have any question, just let us know. And uh, we have some great stuff coming up. If you want to keep updates, subscribe. And we keep in touch. Thank you very much. See you soon.